At Boardroom Insider, I tend not to cover academic research into corporate governance very often, but this doesn't mean that academic researchers aren't doing some important spade work when it comes to uncovering how boards function and how they can do better. One recent paper offers a good reality check on what's right and what's wrong with our corporate board model. Stephen Boivy of Texas A&M University and a group of researchers published a paper with an intriguing title, Are Boards Designed to Fail? Their view of the board is that it fills an information processing role. It takes in data, results, proposals, indices, and then gives out monitoring, advice, and decisions. Now, this all sounds good, but the authors review 50 years of research on how boards function and find little consistency in what works and what doesn't. Theories on what motivates boards to do a good job, characteristics of good directors, their role in for firm governance, these all seem valid right up until the moment they fail. Now, quoting the authors, maybe there are just too many inherent barriers for directors to monitor managers effectively. Now, this seems very discouraging when it comes to corporate governance. We've bet the whole world economy for a couple of centuries on a horse that can never hope to win. But most of us have also learned that the life lessons we'd least like to accept are those most likely to be true. Better still, once we make peace with the idea that our corporate board governance model has some built-in defects, we may be less likely to pursue big panacea approaches to fixing them. When governance oversight fails, our collective response is to demand where was the board and push for more reporting or higher liabilities, increased director independence, more diversity, and so on. What if we instead admitted that there is no one quote-unquote big fix for the problems of the board, but instead focused on the little fixes? Better corporate controls, improved board turnover, uh, better board materials, meetings and information, greater use of outside directors, more evaluation. Now, the first step in coping with any problem is to accept that there is a problem, but the second step is deciding whether there's any real alternative. Yes, the corporate board model is flawed, but no, it isn't going away, at least not anytime soon. So let's try working with what we have. I'm Ralph Ward from the boardroom for July.